Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Parati, and this is uh, my back to school night presentation. Let me just pull it up real quick. I can start presenting for you guys. All right, so welcome to Back to School Night. Uh, this presentation is for parents that uh, unfortunately could not make the live session. Uh, so like I said, uh, my name is Mr. David Parati. I have uh, three teaching assistants in my room. Miss um, Sierra Mashinsky, who is my teaching assistant. Miss Catherine Story, who is uh, one of the one-to-ones in my room. And Mr. Tavares Batty, who is also one of the one-to-ones in my room. So this is a picture of um, my schedule for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, so as you can see, we have a school day from 8.30 to 2.30. Um, arrival starts at 8.30 and ends at 8.45. Then we have uh, period one from 8.45 to 8.25, period two from 8, 9.25 to 10.05, period three from 10.05 to 10.45. And we have a break for 10 minutes from 10.45 to 10.55. Period four from 10.55 to 11.35. Period five from 11.35 to 12.15. Period six from 12.45 to 1.25. Period seven from 1.25 to 2.05. And then dismissal from 2.05 to 2.30. So on Mondays, we have applied arts as a homeroom, which is uh, a lot like woodshop where the kids get to do different activities. Um, then we have an academic uh, period. So in my case, it would be a science class. Then uh, we have science lab um, or academic lab for the other students. So that could be um, English, math, or uh, history, depending on what they had for second period. Then we have a break. Then we have another academic period. So that could be, uh, like I said, science, math, English, or history. Same for fifth period. Then we have physical education, sixth period. Then another academic seventh. Tuesday, we have physical education, academic period, a clubs period, which is a period where the students get to socially interact uh, during a club of their choice. Then we have a break, two back-to-back -back academic periods, 21st century lab where they get to do critical thinking skills, and then our last academic period. Wednesday, we start off with an academic period. Then we have academic lab. Then we have financial literacy where they learn about uh, money and finances. Another break, two academic periods. Our skill development period that's taught by our clinician. Uh, where they get to learn, um, you know, more life skills, social skills, things of that nature. Then we have another academic. Thursday, we have health, then academic period, an academic lab, then a break, two academic periods, applied arts again, and then our last academic period. Friday, another clubs period, academic uh core class, academic lab, break, two academic periods, PE, then our last academic period. All right, so just some rules and expectations for the school year. So um, our school-wide um, policy is to be safe, responsible, and respectable at all times. Uh, our students are expected to follow all COVID procedures. Um, doing both of the above, as well as completing academic tasks while earn students bulldog bucks on their check-in, check-out sheets. Uh, and these bucks can be used to purchase items and activities from the school store. 
Uh, cell phones must be turned in at the beginning of the day and will be locked in the homeroom closet until dismissal. Computers will be picked up in homeroom upon arrival and will be taken to each class throughout the day. Hoods will not be worn in school and backpacks and lunch boxes will remain in homeroom for the duration of the school day. Students are to attend school in person unless exposed to COVID-19 um, and the students will then be subject to quarantine expectations at that time. Um, also, if you guys um, are able to sign up for the text alerts uh, through Yale, you can be notified about school events and closures. So for my science classroom, here's a little outline. So I have my email here, dparadi at yaleschoolnj.com. I also have my extension, if you call in from outside of school, which is uh, 480. Homework will be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, we do have a midterm and final exam for each science course. Um, I will be updating the parent portal uh, for homework, test announcements, and current topics. Uh, tests will be announced three days in advance along with a study guide. Textbooks will be kept in class. Materials, uh, all the students will need is just a student binder, computer, pen or pencil. And then uh, the grading system, 70% is post-test, which includes classwork, uh, tests and quizzes, projects, labs, anything done in class. 15% uh, would be homework and 15% will be task completion. And the format will be in-person learning uh, with work posted on Google Classroom for absent students and makeup work. So our applied science topics are the scientific method, um, measurement and graphing, experimentation and lab safety, scientific equipment, significant figures, scientific inquiry, sourcing and data collection, and scientific ac applications. So uh, these um, topics can be applied to any specific science discipline. Our physical science topics, so we have the nature of science, which will include the scientific method, measurement and graphing, uh, motion and forces, so that includes velocity, acceleration, and Newton's laws, work and energy, so we have simple and complex machines, and energy transfer, uh, electricity and magnetism. We have electric charges, currents and circuits, waves and electromagnetism. Uh, that's made up of properties and behavior, sound, electromagnetic spectrum and radio waves. And then we have um, physical science as a whole, so humans and the physical world. All right, our environmental science topics. We have uh, the nature of science, the biosphere, biomes, and the environment, energy flow and cycles in the ecosystem, biological succession, weather and climate, population dynamics, agriculture and natural resources, and pollution and human impacts. Biology, we have the nature of science, matter and energy transformations in ecosystems, interdependent relationships in ecosystems, human activity and climate, human activity and biodiversity, cell specialization and homeostasis, DNA and inheritance, and natural selection and evolution. Chemistry topics. We have the nature of science, structure and properties of matter, the chemistry of abiotic systems, energy of chemical systems, bonding and chemical reactions, matter and energy and living systems, nuclear chemistry, and human impacts, uh, the chemistry of sustainability. So our last slide here, we just have some upcoming events. Uh, Parent-teacher conferences will be coming up uh, from November 1st through the 5th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, over Google Meet. So if you're interested, you can sign up uh, at any time. Uh, please email me if you're interested. Uh, we're going to have 15-minute time slots. We'll review the first marking period, uh, strengths, areas of improvement, interests, and future goals. We'll also discuss parent and student concerns um, and any questions you guys might have. Um, so that is all I have for you guys for this presentation. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me at any time. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day.